Yo, what is up, everyone? It's your boy, your dog, and your homie, Ryan Mahalik here. And today, we are going to be using the heli in all of my games in Bloom's TD Battles 2. And the reason why I'm going to be using the heli is because this Moab shove is honestly so fun to use, dude. If they send you a Moab and you have this upgrade, you can push it all the way back to the start of the map. It's pretty funny. Plus, the um, support Chinook is also really cool as it gives you crates. I might try the Apache Dart Ship as well. I've heard it's pretty trash, though, but we'll have to test it ourselves. Plus, heli is getting a small buff in the next update so want to uh, make sure to get get these upgrades going before that update drops but yeah i'll catch you on the first game let's get it guys all right looks like we have found mr apple might here in the first game standard times is the map so that's cool um what am i gonna go loadout wise i think this is gonna be my best loadout here i'm gonna go dartling heli and super um i really like this loadout for the reason that we have dartling for early game um against all the early game rushes rainbow ceramics balloon rushes all that type of stuff we have heli for moab press and um farming which is great and then we have super for late game plus it kind of um combines with Oban to make a pretty nice um duo there so yeah looks like they're going quincy which is interesting i don't really think quincy is the best hero but who knows maybe they'll prove me wrong and we're good to go and by the way guys if you kind of are um new to the channel and you're wondering like not new to the channel if you've been watching for a little bit and you're wondering where i'm recording at i actually moved out of my um house and i'm back in my college house now so i'm on campus so that's why the location looks a little bit different and um setup's a little bit different but it'll look like this for the next um couple of months so you better get used to it is all i'm saying you better get used to it so it looks like they're going dart here definitely really interesting there don't can't say i see dart too often i'm gonna start with my dartling obviously and yeah looks like they're placing their dart in the top um right and top left i would assume they're gonna build up sports then so they kind of get the sport lines going which would make sense Okay, that's what they're doing. That's what they're doing. Cool, cool, cool. And if you guys enjoyed today's video at any point, um, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. Dude, our channel growth right now is absolutely nuts, and it honestly is crazy. It's crazy, because I've never grown this fast before. So, if you're new, um, welcome. Um, I'm Ryan Mahalik. I make BT videos. Pretty standard stuff, but yeah. I hope you enjoy the content. And if you have any suggestions, put them in the comment section down below, because, you know, your boy Ryan reads all the comments, so... Don't worry, it will be red. So it looks like he is going with the sports spam action, which is interesting. Sports in this game are so much different from um what I'm used to in um Balloons TD Battles 1, so it's just so weird to see people like start with sports. Because obviously if you started with sports in like BT Battles 1, you'd kind of just get destroyed. But sports are a little bit different in this game where it can actually be used somewhat. It can actually somewhat be used. Alright, let's go for the faster bail spin on the startling. We should handle all these blues now. Looks like they're going for another dart. I feel like they should, instead of building up like so many darts, they should kind of just um get higher tiers on their towers. Unless they don't have them unlocked, but yeah. Like, get some of those sport upgrades going. Higher tier sport or whatever. I don't really know what like the specific upgrades are because I haven't used dart yet, but... You kind of get what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying. <clears throat> now, I'm not sure if it's beneficial for me to anti-stall or stall here, because we have a pretty good late game loadout, but... They might as well. Really, the sense in anti-stalling for stalling is if you have a better late game loadout than your opponent, you normally want to stall. If you have a worse late game loadout, then you normally want to anti-stall. So that's normally the kind of reasoning you want to go through there. But obviously, I don't know what his other towers are, so I can't really um can't really know what to do is the best decision there. So we ended up going for a crossbow there. Um. Looks like they're going to be fine. The crossbow um, breaks down three layers of balloons every shot, so it's pretty solid there. Um, has a little bit less pierce, though, than the sport, so... I'm not sure which tower necessarily has more popping power overall. I would assume maybe the sport, but... I'm not too sure there. <clears throat> but yeah, we're just going to continue ecoing here. I will get my second dartling down here um, on round 7 if he sends me yellow balloons. And the second dartling is what I'm going to be upgrading to my... um what's it called to the hydropods later on and that should be able to solo everything for a while however that i can't necessarily continue to rely on that because um in the upcoming update they are nerfing the dude why am i thinking on these updates they are nerfing the laser shock upgrade so it's the hydropods is not going to be as good at all since the laser shock right now is just so strong but yeah let's get the second dartling down looks like he's sending me a big yellow rush um honestly it's fine if i leak here because even if I leak, I have Heli in my loadout, and Heli gives you lives, so I'll just get back up in life, so it doesn't even matter if I leak, to be honest. It doesn't matter. 
so I'm not going to be too cautious there. I will use your brambles just to pop a few balloons, though. And we will continue ecoing. Our ego's actually pretty solid here. Um, I think I should start space decoying now, so I can save up for my uh, hydropods by around 11 is what I need. So I'll need about 3,600 in cash with selling this to be able to get my hydropods up. Is the number I'm always looking for there. Now, what's their round 11 defense going to look like with with dart? Maybe I just get like a um, some sport upgrades or something. I'm not too sure how they defend round 13. Okay, so it looks like they did go for a sport upgrade. Look how fast those um look how fast the things move, dude. It's actually kind of insane. They like fly by the screen. It's kind of nuts to look at. I will I do want to kind of test their defense though with a rush because I'm not sure how strong these dart monkeys are. So I'm going to I'm going to send some zebras. I'll send some purples layered over and we'll see how this does. We do get first blood as well. Should I balloon boost? Uh, let's send some purples here. Send some whites behind. He ends up boosting. So we ended up forcing a boost there. That's actually pretty solid. Um, I could actually maybe kill him next round. Because next round we're going to unlock rainbow balloons. So I'm going to do a layered rush with leads, rainbows, and purples. And I'll balloon boost it as well. And this actually could have a shot at killing him. If I do it correctly. Purples layered over. Oh, it's look, it looks close. He's leaking, and he goes down. That is game one. Yeah, Dart just doesn't seem the best right now. I mean, he had, like, a lot invested in his defense, and I still pushed through. But, yeah, um, I'll catch you all next game. Let's get it. Keep moving up in the ranks, you know what I'm saying? All right, next game here for the um, heli farming is against Mr. Prominent. PP Prominent. I'm not sure how to pronounce that name, bro. But you get what I'm trying to say. Dino Graveyard. This is actually a good map for it because um, lots of heli space on this map. So you love to see that. And we will go the same loadout. I don't know why my loadout changed there. But yeah. Here we go, guys. Here we freaking go. Let's get this heli farming going. Against Mr. PP. Puminant. 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 So I'm going to place my dartlings here on the top left. This is where most people place their dartlings. I'm still unsure of what the best dartling spots on the map are. Because I've tested different spots. But I think I'll chill with this spot. For my first one at least. My second dartling, I kind of like to place it at the bottom left here where my cursor is. Uh, mostly because when I defend like um, BFBs or something later in the game. I want my dartling in the back just to kind of clean up ceramics. So that spot kind of allows me to do that. Spot definitely allows me to do that. Um, where am I gonna place my freaking Oban? I can place it here. I can place it. He places his right there, so I might just copy that spot. Right there. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And yeah, again, I don't know if I should anti-stall or stall rounds here. Uh, I think I'll try anti-stalling this game. At least tar keeping my dartling targeted at the very back. Um, I think would be kind of beneficial for me. Get the faster barrel spin going. And yeah, we'll see how this works out, guys. We'll see how this works out. <clears throat> so he's on dart double dartling. Um, I have seen some people do that on round three recently. It's pretty much the same price as going for the upgrade dartling, like I do, like I have. But I prefer to go for one dartling because I'll get the zero two two. Where if you go for the double dartling, you're not going to really end up getting a um, faster barrel spin and powerful dart startling. So I think my start's honestly better, but it's hard to say. It might be situational as well on if the double dartling or upgraded dartling's better start. So he's sending me white balloons. I'll just go for my 0-2-2 right now. Keep you targeted like this. And that should do pretty well, I hope. All right, they're sending me constant whites. I'm kind of mixed eco with whites and greens. I'll send greens until I pretty much run out of money, and then I'll send whites to finish off the eco boost. If you kind of get what I'm saying there, to maximize the amount of eco I get per um, income, per like $500 or whatever. Kind of hard to explain, but 
yeah. Now I will have to s switch to just spaced whites for a little bit just because I need to get up the second dartling for round seven, which I'll place right here as I was saying before. Because I, I would get overrun by yellow balloons if I didn't have this up. One power four darts and um, faster firing dartling cannot handle yellows. You kind of need another one to help out a little bit. But this should handle. We'll send them some yellow balloons. They actually end up going for um, laser shock on their dartling. I think that's interesting. Um, I don't really think laser shock is very good until you get hydropods up. So I would not recommend going for that upgrade until you have the hydropods. Then when you have the hydropods up, it's just an absolute phenomenal combination. But yeah, that's my input there. So I might have actually over -ecoed. Um I now realize I have ecoed way too hard. So let's hope that he doesn't punish in round 11. Because I need 3,600 with selling this. I guess I could sell this as well. And then I need about 3,200 because the Oban sells for a little bit. But obviously it's not ideal if I sell my Oban. So I think I'm just going to stop ecoing altogether right now. Um, okay, it looks like he's sparing me right now. Good thing he didn't rush me. I should be able to get this up. Clear that. And all is good. So I did definitely over eco, but uh, they never punished me. So all is well there. And we will continue um, yellow ecoing. Now my plan here is... Actually, sh I might do the Asian sensation move. What Asian does is he gets up, tries to get up his heli farm on round 16... And then, um, if they send you a mob, you'll get your crate in time to, um, you'll get your crate before they send you the mob, or right when they send you the mob, and then you'll have enough money for the mob press, which obviously just kind of annihilates the mob since it can just push it back to the start. So, I think I'm gonna do the Asian Sensation move right here, and try to get the round 16 heli farm. Actually, I might have over eco to do this, because the heli farm is actually kind of expensive. You need, like, 11k for it. You need, like, 11k, so it's pretty expensive, but... We'll see. We'll see how we do here. Oh yeah, I'm definitely not getting the... <laughs> I'm not even close. I'm not even close, guys. I probably should have just stopped decoing like round 9, and then I could have gotten it up, but... Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I could just greed for it round 17. It depends if he sends me a mob or not. But if he does send me a mob, I'm going for my mob um, shove, so... The mob shove is just so good, guys. It's kind of crazy how much it pushes back mobs. It's a bit nuts. All right, see if he does send me a moab. I'm gonna place my heli down preemptively. So he has ninja. Okay, nice to see that. Ninja sniper. Okay. So he's going meta. I'll get my um. He is running meta. I'll get my heli farm down. And. I'm just going to press 3 on my keyboard, and that's going to make me get the heli ability, since it's the third one down, so that's kind of a trick you guys can use if you didn't know already. $4,000 and 15 lives for that, so pretty solid uh, ability right there. Definitely a solid ability. I'm going to be trying to place these helis as close as possible, just to save room for other stuff. So the downdraft, which is the upgrade in route to the support chinook, that's kind of like the um, mob shove for balloons. As you can see, balloons are getting blowed back, which is great when you... It's great if you're like facing like a ZOMG rush or something, because a bunch of the ceramics will end up getting blowed back. So, you love to see that. Um, Let's send him a fortified mob. And we'll balloon boost it. We'll see what they do here. They end up boosting. Is that enough, though? They're not targeting their dartling. Dude, target your dartling. What? He might have just thrown his thrown the bag so hard because he didn't target his dartling at all. They're dead. Bro, how bad are these players? <laughs> oh my gosh, that was kind of pitiful. I'm not going to lie. I'll catch you on the next one. Okay, this player actually looks somewhat good just based off of their profile and banner and everything, so... Um, we're gonna do the same exact thing, load out here, same map pretty much, except I am on the, um, 
left side here. So I'm going to move my camera all the way to the right. If that makes sense. And yeah, here we go. Probably going to be the last game of the video as well. Three games this video, so. Is it three games? I actually lost track. Hmm. I don't know, but yeah. So let's hope we end on a good note. Let's hope we end on a good note here against Mr. Fish02. As we kind of climb our way back up the ranks since everyone's trophies got um basically cut in half after the end of the season. So I am in Ceramic Crucible right now. But we'll eventually make our way back into um Hall of Masters, I hope. So he is using Engineer, which is interesting. Um, I wonder what their strategy is with Engineer. And they aren't ecoing at all. Oh, no, never mind. They started ecoing. Okay. I wonder what they're bringing with Engineer. They are going Oban, I think I remember, if I remember correctly. Maybe they're going... I've seen Engineer, Sniper, um, Ninja, or Super before, so that could be it. But it's hard to say at the moment with what their loadout is. I've also seen Engineer, Dartling, Sniper. So it could be anything, really. It could be anything. Now, the bright side is that I don't have to continue ecoing into this balloon trap once he gets this balloon trap up. Because I have heli farms. So that's the advantage of going like heli farms or farms rather than just going flat, yeah, flat out eco. Is if they have like balloon trap or whatever, you don't have to speed their balloon trap. You don't have to send them eco. You can just put all that money into your own farms. So yeah, I think that's a pretty nice advantage to have here. Pretty nice advantage. He got up his double shot. Does that handle blue balloons? It looks like it's doing decently solid right now, although a few balloons are getting passed. A little bit. We'll get up our faster barrel spin right there. Kind of just like last game. Oh, what did upgrade did he go for here? The the um, orange cap on the engineer. Huh. I have not seen someone use an engineer with like an orange cap and double guns. I don't know what upgrade he went for there. That's kind of interesting to see. I do not know which upgrade that is. So he has Dartling and Engineer. Okay. okay. He has Dartling in his loadout. So I'm going to guess his last tower is Sniper, my guess would be. But again, it's it, you can't really tell at the moment, obviously. But my best guess would be Sniper. Uh, let's get the powerful darts going. It's interesting to me how he's still group decoing with green balloons, because what a lot of people with Engineer do is they actually just start space decoing at this point, so then they can save up for the trap early on. Which I think is the best move as well, but... Uh, I guess you do you, Mr. Fisho too. You do you, buddy. Oh, also, guys, uh, I made a community post about this, but if you didn't see my community post, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I was thinking about um starting to make a little bit of BTD6 videos along with my BTD Battles 2 videos. So, so making, like, maybe alternate videos a little bit, make a f one BTD6 video, one BTD Battles 2 video, or maybe even still more BTD Battles 2 videos than Battles 6, but still have a variety in content. So let me know your thoughts on that. If you want me to stick with only BT Battles 2, or if you want me to switch it up a little bit, I'm honestly fine with either, but I was a little bit interested in trying out um, BTD6 for a change. Let's get my second Dartling down. This should handle yellow balloons. Yeah, it looks like it's doing pretty solid. And I'll just start space decoing here. I don't want to over eco like I did last time. I want to make sure I don't do that. I'm surprised he hasn't gotten up his trap yet. Every I feel like most opponents have up their trap by now, but hmm. I guess they're still saving up for it. It's interesting, to say the least. It is quite interesting. <clears throat> Switch to sending leads now that the whites become grouped and less efficient. And we'll sell you and get you up. Oh, what? He's not going first trap. So the engineer was basically useless. I'm confused now. Why are they went for the engineer? I am a bit confused. So he has Oban. Alright, I was correct in that statement when I said I thought he had Oban. Now, I think at this point, I'm going to do what I did last game and just try to save up for a heli farm. Um, I'll eco with sp grouped blues. And, okay, now I'll stop ecoing with grouped blues just because grouped blues were pretty efficient. And it looks like he's already trying to get up his traps anyways, so 
Might as well just save up for my heli at this point. Might as well just save up for my heli. And I'll place you over here. I need about 11k, I think. Wait, what? Oh, he's going super. I don't know why you placed a super already, bro. So he's going... Engineer Dartling Super is his loadout. Okay. That's interesting. Quite interesting. I mean, I guess it could be good. It definitely could be good. I'm not sure... Um why he never went for a balloon trap though i feel like if you're going to engineer you got to be going for a balloon trap like what what's the point of the tower if you're not doing that you know Should, oh i'm literally 39 dollars off let's get the support chinook down there we go beautiful and i should be able to get this crate here in a little bit Is he going to end up sending me a Moab? No, he's just pinky going, okay, okay, okay. If he does send me a Moab, I can just get my Moab pressed down. And I'll be absolutely vibing. But yeah, we're just going to heli farm right now. We're just going to freaking heli farm. Like a mad lad. An absolute mad lad. I does Did he upgrade range on his super monkey or is that knockback? I can't really tell. Oh no, it's knocked back. I can see the balloons getting knocked back. Oh god. I was gonna say, if you upgraded range, that doesn't seem like a very good upgrade to go for. At least for the first Super Monkey upgrade. Maybe I should mix Deco as well with yellow balloons. Because I feel like eventually I'll have max helis on the map. So it's probably best for me to have a little bit of eco to back up on once I get max helis. You know what I'm saying? He ends up going for a Dark Knight. Okay. You need to get your balloon trap down, dude. You need to get that trap down. Get that income going. Engineer is kind of useless in your loadout if you're not getting the trap. I guess you could maybe overclock stuff later in the game. But I'm not sure if they have that unlocked. Or if the upgrade would even be worth. Alright. Place another heli right there. He's upgrading his Dark Knight even more even though I'm not rushing him. Interesting. I guess he's just quite paranoid. <clears throat> Getting his engineer down. Okay. Oh, Moab. That's, um... Let's show off my Moab shove. Oh, crap. Let's show off the Moab shove. Dude, look at that. It's so fun to use. Because, look, the Moab's just going back to the start of the track. That's how crazy the upgrade is. Now, to, um... To be fair, the Moab shove does end up getting overwhelmed. Like, it won't push back, like, ten Moabs like that. Um, the more mobs there are, the less shove it has, but it is extremely strong against like one mob. And then you can obviously get more mob shoves the bigger the rush is, so yeah. Uh, we accidentally forced a boost because I accidentally sent y purples, but it's still forced a boost on his end, so <laughs> I guess that works. <laughs> I didn't even mean to send purples at the end of the day. <laughs> kind of funny. I should probably... Uh, I don't even know if I should eco. I don't even know if I should. He goes for two hydropods. You don't need two, bro. This man's not defending well. You only need one of those. And then if there's a big, like, rush, you can just get up a um, rocket storm. It's much better. Let's use your, um... Oh, another great thing about bringing Hadley and Dartling in your loadout is you can do this. Just target everything to the back and then, um, make sure your open trees fill, which is... Something I love to do. Something I absolutely adore. So this um, Oban thing will eventually pop and it'll give me a bunch of money, which is great. As you can see right there, it pops. Get the support Chinook down. Um, we're gonna do the same exact thing for this one. Let's use you. Place another heli right there. Use you. Another heli. <clears throat> okay, so he ended up finally going for his balloon trap on round 24, bro. You wasted so much time to get that. It's actually kind of insane. He could have um 
Definitely been making a lot more money if you got that up earlier. Oh, let's look at the Moab Press do its work. That Moab is going back to the start of the track, guys. Oh, and I leaked 100 lives, but it's okay because I have heli farms. I just realized I leaked the ceramic by accident. Whoopsie. <laughs> but it's kind of funny because heli farms will just give you the lives back. That's all. F heli is definitely a fun tower to use. I'm not gonna lie. Heli is a very, very fun tower to use. Uh, to use that ability and fill those up. I can actually blow back balloons into the um, trees, which is actually pr kind of fun. Are all of these... Okay, all of these are support Chinooks, so let's get another one down. This is where your heli farms kind of start to snowball. They're similar to sniper farms in that, in that aspect. They can snowball, which is absolutely phenomenal. We filled up all of those. And as you can see... Let's see how it deals with two mobs. Um, as you can see, the two mobs actually start to push a little bit uh, through the mob press, but it's still decent, you know? Like, it's still kind of holding its own there. Let's place another heli right here. Support Chinook. Do I have enough money for even another one? Dude, look at all these support Chinooks I have, bro. It's actually kind of nuts how many heli farms I have right now. I'm getting so much income. Even another one. Um, Let's actually go for a Dark Knight. I should have gone for this earlier. He could have definitely exposed me with a DDT rush if I wasn't ready. So I need to be more prepared. Now that's round... 30 almost. But yeah, I think we're in a solid position nonetheless. Let's also use you. Place both of them in the back, which I actually kind of like now. Um, Kind of like a last life resort there with the trees, which is nice to have. All right, let's stop ecoing. I've gotten a solid. I've definitely gotten a solid eco this game. So now I think I should go for some more presses. Wait, crap! I, I keep going for down drafts by accident, or more shoves rather, not more presses. More presses the boomerang upgrade. I can actually—he's not rushing me here. He's going for eco, so I'm actually gonna go for more of these support chinooks. Oh, dude, look how many support Chinooks I have. It's actually kind of nuts. I'm actually going to end up um, locking all of them in place up here. My Chinooks. Because then whenever I use the crates, it's all gonna, all the crates are going to end up up here. It's just easier for me that way. But I'm not going to lock in place my um, mob shoves. Yeah, these are going to be follow mouse. So you can see those two mob shoves will still be movable. Which is what I was look going for there. I think I'm honestly fine against any rush you can send me. I have so much selling power in all my helis. I kind of want to defend. I do want to defend. I could probably rush them right now and have a decent shot at killing them. They don't have that much sheet fence down. But I think defending is going to be more fun at the end of the day. So let's keep going for Dark Knights. Keep using my heli abilities. I want all my dark... Okay, he is end up sending me um a... Let's go for the mad. Let's use your ability there. Let's end up spamming some... um More presses as well. Can I place you? Really? I can't place one right there? I'm shocked. Let's 
All right, place you, place you, place you. We'll use a boost as well. We'll use that. We'll use that. No way this doesn't defend, right? Mob shoves, do your thing. Oh, it's actually kind of close. Oh! No way! Bro, I'm so bad at this game. I can't believe I just died to that. I really can't. Oh, I'm so stupid. If my... If my heli farms weren't on lock and place, I literally would have defended that because all of the um, down drafts just would have put in the work. But I literally can't believe I just died to a bad just because I was reluctant to sell my heli farms. And I thought I had enough defense. Dude, that's really frustrating. Whatever. We got some good heli XP in anyways. I'm getting kind of close to... Actually, I'm not even close at all to 40 and 5th tiers, but... It's all good. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, though. And if you did, make sure to subscribe. Alright, my heli out. Peace, lads.